I'm going to add Mogera to my 1995 Godzilla Wars Trend Masters action figure collection. Open up this box, get him cleaned up, and see if the sound feature will still work. We'll get some new batteries, get him running again if we can. And then we can take a closer look at him after that. Pretty cool off of eBay. This says the Toys R Us sticker still on it. $9.99. Would you pay $9.99 for this? Yeah, well, let's just say I paid a little bit more. <laughs> kind of uncommon for them to come with a little accessory. Feet twisty ties. And a back. A lot of packaging for one little figure. Comes with the trading card, which they've put tape all on the back. And if you are careful, you can peel it away. Then you're left with a sticky residue after, so... I suppose if you just have a card collecting sleeve to put it in, it'll just stick in there, but I suppose it won't be so bad. Some factoids on the back about Mogera, and some nice artwork on the front. It's not too dirty, but we want to find where the battery is. It's going to have to be this whole back razor piece here. There's nowhere else it could be. Ooh, that is the battery house. Had batteries in it, they're dead, I guess. See if we can power him up. All right, a tight fit. Nice. Very machine like. It's got plastic holding these hands shut. Guess these pieces will come out, they're just in little hinge spots in there. But I like that they stay open. So we have a functional Mulgara here. The arms probably turn all the way around. Oh yeah. Now once you remove that plastic, these open up and you can have kind of the beam shooter. And it does stay open for you. So you can be firing the beams there, although again, the arms only go up and down, so you can't have them go straight forward, they're just whatevs. So close those up, he has these wing extensions on the sides, that's pretty cool. Now the legs don't move up and down, but you can kind of turn them around. And he has a turnable kind of tail as well. And we took this razor off the back, the battery thing, the head turns like this. Now the head doesn't turn up, or you might have been able to mimic some kind of flight mode from the film, Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. You would have the head turned up so you could see where they were flying. Plus you have these little wings coming out, but otherwise you're just going to have to push the wings in, kind of have him on the ground fighting. I like the colors, they're actually just like the movie with this blue, and then the red button actually doesn't look bad with everything. It's like one little splash of the red, even though it's only red just because... All the buttons are red on all the figures. So it came with a drill piece, and at first I thought maybe it was for the tail, but really it just kind of goes on one of the hands. It kind of has a bigger drill weapon if you would like, like that. It can go either hand. Not sure why it didn't come with two of these, so you could just have double drill weapon, but I guess then he can still have a laser to fire in one hand. His drilling weapon in the other. Not really anywhere else to put it. It was kind of cool just to think back the history. Mogera is in like a whole nother movie. Just happened to be made by the, the Toho movie studio. Uh, flash forward to 1995. They're using it in a Godzilla film as like a man-made uh, kaiju fighting robot. The original film that he's from, The Mysterians, it's kind of an alien robot left on Earth with all the drilling ability. Kind of a weird look there, so this is kind of a spruced up look for him. Tiny little head, his little drill nose. We can still kind of see some of the design of Mechagodzilla in here, you know, especially with this kind of back end and even just the head. Kind of the thicker legs like Godzilla has. Would have been fun to play with back in the day, kind of having a human's uh, robot kind of join in on the fight, which fight, which kaiju they want to help versus the one they want to hurt. But I'm happy to add it now after all this time too. Just been finishing this Trend Masters kind of collection. I just like that this is kind of the toy line of these films when they were coming out, you know, released the same time period. Found them a bit after when I was discovering Godzilla for the first time, getting videotapes and things. Leave Mogera a like if you like checking him out here, getting opened up fresh from the old packaging. That's what I do here. I open up a lot of older toys that I want to collect now, completing things, and I open newer stuff as well. You might want to get subscribed so I will be able to see you in the next video, whatever it may be. Mogera overload.
Wee, 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 wee.